Hello guys. Um, so in this uh, series of um, videos, we'll start looking at um, quadratic equations and how to complete the square of a quadratic equation. Okay, so given a quadratic function, ax squared plus bx plus c, uh, to complete the square, what you do is that you try to make um, pull this out, right? You want you want the coefficient of the x squared to be one before you start completing the square. So what you do is pull a out of this, and then you're going to have x squared plus, of course, then you have b over two x. When you multiply this out, then you get this right plus c over a. Okay. Once it's of this form, then you can complete the square. Okay. And so what you do next is you have this, and then you're going to have x plus half of the coefficient of the x term, all right? And that is b over 2a. You want to square all of this. Now when you do, notice that when you expand this, you're going to have x squared. You're going to have 2 times this times that. That will give you this. But you have this term remaining, b over 2a all squared. So you need to subtract that. So you subtract b over 2a all of this squared, okay, plus the term c over a here. So that after you have expanded all of this, you should get back what you have here, okay? Good. Once you have this, then of course you can, um, you can work this out. Notice that negative, this can be written as negative b squared over 4a squared. If you add this to that, you're having c over a, okay, and this you can write as b squared over 4a squared, right? You want to have the same denominator, so I multiply this by 4a, so I have 4a squared and 4ac up here. And so this, all of this, if you pull out the negative, you're going to have b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared, right? That is this term here. That is what is giving you that. And so from here, we can rewrite this as a, and I'm going to have x plus b over 2a all squared. And this term now, when you simplify following this, you're going to have minus b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared, okay? Now, I can multiply through by a. I take a times this time, and then a times this. Know that if I do that, the a will cancel one of these a's. And so eventually, I'm going to have the quadratic function to be in the form, so f of x now will be of the form a will multiply this x plus b over 2a, all of this squared, right? Now, a multiplies this to get b squared minus 4ac all over. Now I have 4a down here because a multiplies this and the a cancels one of this. And so this gives me. Um, the quadratic function, which is now we have applied completion of square to rewrite the quadratic function in this form. Okay, now why is this important? Once you have the quadratic function of this form, then you can pull out some very important information about the quadratic equation or the graph of the quadratic equation. Okay, so that is one reason why often you want to complete the square. Okay, so now one of the important things that you can get out of this is that I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, once, once you have this, what, what you get out of this is that number one, okay, um, the minimum and the maximum are obtained from this, okay? And then the symmetry, the line of symmetry is given by where this is equal to zero. Okay, so line of symmetry, line of symmetry, 
In other words, your quadratic could be positive or negative, could be something that is doing this, right? Or something that is doing this. Where this is? Where this is? This point here, x here, the value of x here is the line of symmetry. And the value here is the minimum value. Okay, in this case, the line of symmetry is somewhere here. And here you have a maximum value somewhere there. These two um, points, the line of symmetry and the maximum or the minimum, can be obtained directly from here without doing any work. Okay, once you have it in this form. So we have the line of symmetry, if you like, is obtained by equating this to zero. If you have the x plus b over 2a is equal to zero, that means that x is equal to negative b over 2a. So once I'm giving the quadratic function, knowing a, b, and c, I put them here and I get the line of symmetry. All right, so that is very important. And then you can also obtain the maximum or minimum value. The max, maximum or minimum, minimum value of the function can be obtained from here. And that is just given by this. So let me call it y max or y b is equal to negative b squared minus 4ac over 4a. So if I know a, b, and c, if I compute this, that gives me the maximum or minimum. Okay? Well, how do we know whether we have a maximum or minimum? If, number three, given the quadratic equation, if a is positive, if the a here is positive, then we get a minimum. Okay? Minimum. And then if a is less than zero, if the coefficient here is negative, then we get a maximum. Then we get a maximum. Maximum. All right? So these are important formations you can get from completing the square. Once you complete the square for a quadratic equation or function in this form, you get the information directly from these terms. Okay, we'll do a few examples to illustrate this. But let me just generalize what I've done here. So if I have, if I have A to be negative, so given a quadratic function like that, if A is negative, let me call it one. If A is negative, then I'm going to get a maximum, right? A maximum. And so you're going to have a quadratic equation that will look something like this. All right? And then this is the line of symmetry. This point here, S will be equal to negative B over 2A. And the maximum value that it takes, all right, this point here is what I'm calling y max. And y max is negative b squared minus 4ac all over 4a. The value here is given by this, and the value of x at this point is given by that. Okay? And then if a is greater than zero, you are getting a minimum, all right? It means the graph is going to look something like this. Let's, uh, the exact curve will be determined by these, okay? These are sketches, okay? So when you have this, you are going to have a minimum, okay? So the minimum value, um, the symmetry, the value of x, where this is um, the line of symmetry, is your x, and that is negative b over 2a. And then your minimum is y min, y minimum. And y minimum is given by the same expression here, all right? Depending on a, b, and c. So y min 
is still given by negative d squared minus 4ac, okay, all over 4a. All right, so this is important for, um, um, for quadratic equations. Okay, good. So we're just going to take um, an example of the quadratic function and then we'll compute the square of that and that will bring us to the end of this um, introduction. Okay, of um, completing the square. Okay, so suppose that we have um, a function, example, example, let's take an example f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 3. We want to complete the square, and because this is positive, we get a minimum. So we'll look for the line of symmetry and we'll look for the minimum value of the, uh, the function. Okay? So how do we complete the square? Well, so we follow the same procedure as we did before. I'm going to be fast. You will have two here. You want the coefficient here to be one. So you put two out and you have x squared minus. This becomes half x minus three over two. Right? Three over two. And so, now that the coefficient is 1 here, you complete the square. Take x, you have minus, half of this will be 1 over 4, all right, all squared. But you need to subtract the square of this, so subtract negative 1 over 4 squared, all right, and you add your negative 3 over 2 here, okay. You can simplify this as we did before. This is basically negative, the square of that, this will give us 1, and then 16, negative 3 over 2, okay, I multiply this by 8, and by 8, I'll have negative 1 over 16, minus 24 over 16, and that gives me negative 25 over 16, so this expression here, all of this is negative 25 over 16, so I have 2, into x minus 1 over 4, all squared minus 25 over 16. So now if I multiply this true, 2 by this and 2 times this, I'm going to get f of x to be equal to 2 multiplies x minus 1 over 4 squared, and then I have minus 25 over 8. Okay, so we're going to get a minimum, as I said, because this is positive. And where does the minimum occur? The minimum, if you like, y mean will be equal to this expression here, negative 25 over 8. And then the line of symmetry, line of symmetry, all right, that the x value of x, where the minimum occurs, all right, will be given by equating this equal to zero, and that will be one over four. Okay, so that is how you complete the square, and after you have completed the square, this is how you pull out information from the quadratic function. All right, next we'll look at um, using this um, expression after we have completed the square to uh, to derive the formula so-called almighty formula for solving quadratic equations all right